Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Jim with Serpentine Dream. I figured I'd just do kind of an update video um, for stuff I have uh, currently for sale. Now this is a Mojave Mel. He's right at about 250 grams. Uh, he's one of the hatchlings from this season. Uh, very beautiful colors on this guy. Some nice blushing on the sides. Uh, everything I'll be showing you today is uh, for sale or trade. Uh, if you have a gene I don't have or, or just something interesting, um, you can either comment on the channel or hit us up through Facebook. And there will be a link at the end of the video as well for that. So, see if we can get him to poke his little head out. He's kind of peeking out a little bit. Alright, but anyway, that's the Mojave Mel. Um, and stay tuned for the next one. Alright, this little guy will not hold still. This is a banana cinnamon mel. Also weighing in around 250 grams. Uh, very beautiful orange yellow colors. Uh, very light head. So I apologize for the uh, video on this one. He is just extremely, extremely curious and just likes to run around. Starting to get some of uh, the black freckles in. But he is also available. So definitely hit me up if you're interested in this guy. And this little guy here weighing in about 200 grams. This is, of course, a blue eye cystic. Uh, it's butter and Mojave combo on this one. Um, possible spider, not for sure about the spider, so it'll be sold or traded just as a blue eye cystic. But the pairing had spider in it as well, so there's always a chance it has spider. Very beautiful boy. Like I say, he's weighing in around 200 grams. If I can get a little bit of a close up here. Very clear head. Some nice yellow highlights. And all these snakes are eating great. I don't sell anything unless it's had multiple, multiple mills. Um, and these guys are, are doing great. They're eating every three to five days. Um, these snakes are pretty much eating every time. So, all right, let me know what you think. And this little guy here is a banana. He's weighing in about 150 grams. Uh, beautiful yellow and oranges on this guy. And all my bananas are uh, all very curious. They like to move around, like to check stuff out. Uh, my banana cinnamon mel that I used to produce these this season it was the same way. He just he loves to get around, check stuff out. When I when I go to feed, he's always the first one you know to come out of the cage and check me out more and he's interested in food so all my banana stuff is pretty curious Let's see if I can't pick him up a little bit, get him, to, get him to hold still for a minute yeah these oranges and yellows are just gorgeous on this snake of course I never want to hold still when you want them to get him rolled up a little bit here all right, on to the next snake. All right, this next little boy here, it's a leopard pastel. Weighing in about 88 to 90 grams. Um, very gorgeous. Has some really nice dark blacks. A very nice kind of orangish, yellowish color to his pattern. And has some nice striping and stuff down the dorsal as well. He's got some of the some of the blushing coming through, and lots of little lots of little faces in his alien heads. Which I guess is a good time around Halloween. A very very gorgeous little boy. He said he's also up for grabs. I wouldn't get rid of him at all, but I actually uh, had a uh, leopard pastel spider mel also come out of that clutch. I'm gonna hold on to. Um, so I'm gonna give him that poke his little head out a little bit. See your little head. Anyway, very gorgeous boy. Let me know what you think and if you're interested. And we'll move on to the next one. 
and right around 100 grams I have this uh, gorgeous little spider boy he is also available very gorgeous pattern I love the way the heads look on spiders plus the white sides are just gorgeous on this guy and the pattern is not too crazy a little reduced really for a spider There he is. He's, uh, like I said, all these are going to be available, and all of them are eating very well. So, move on to the next one. All right, here's a, another Spider Boy. Uh, he's weighing in closer to 250 grams. Uh, he was from an earlier clutch. Um, still a beautiful example. Still has kind of a reduced pattern for a spider. Um, sides not quite as high sides as far as the white as the other one um, it has a lot more orangey kind of yellows in the sides um, so it's still a very beautiful snake I'll be saying about making a run for it I have two spiders available so this is the oldest one uh, weighing in at about 250 so alright we'll get on to another snake All right, here's a normal female. I actually have two of them. I'll just show one. They, they both look the same. Uh, most people know what the normal ball python looks like. Um, they're both right around 85 to 90 gram range. Um, so I do have two of them available. And they're both females. Um, so the first things I've had up here that aren't males. So I'll be letting them go as well. I said they're both, they're both gorgeous females. Um, you know, no extra genes, just regular normal ball python, but ball pythons, even without the extra genes, are still beautiful snakes. So, on to the next one. We also have this banana cinnamon male, weighing in right about 70 grams. He is also available. I actually have two banana cinnamons um, that are about this size, and two bananas. Um, all of them are males, and they'll all be available, um, just because I don't really need any more. I already have the males I need for my banana stuff. Um, the other banana cinnamon and the two bananas, I'd like to get a couple more mills uh, before they're available uh, for sale. But this one's had plenty of mills, so he's, he's definitely ready to go at any time. Right, here's one of the banana mills that I was talking about. It's also in the 70 gram range um, that will be up for sale. That's how I'm going to get a couple more mills in him and then he'll definitely be ready to go. It's a nice little orange spot right there on his head. Beautiful orange and yellows and lavenders on this guy. And here he goes. I'm going to go check stuff out. Like I said, like most of my banana stuff, it doesn't really have much of a fear. They like to roam around, check stuff out. Alright, here's the last single gene banana that I have. This has a little bit more blushing, a little bit lighter um, tone to him, which just makes him a little bit more unique. He's another one I'll be letting go, like I said, just like his, uh, just like his brother. Needs a couple more mills in him. And then he'll be ready for the road. He's had two so far, but honestly, I'd like him to get five or six good mills at least before I let him go. I like to make sure there's no problems. But I love the pattern on this guy. That's your little spots between the pattern. Um, kind of the wider areas, the lavender areas. Just beautiful looking. I think I got just uh, one more to show you. Here's the last banana cinnamon. Um, unfortunately, right in the middle of the shed it looks like. So, colors are a little bit more faded, not quite as bright. But he pretty much looks identical to his brother that you've seen a few snakes back. So, uh, he'll also definitely be up for sale.
or trade. Like I said, I'm open for trade. I always look to get new jeans in the collection um, or 100% hits. Uh, like everybody, I have my own hat projects going as well. So uh, if you're interested or you want know, to do a trade or buy something, just hit me up. Like I said, you can reach me on uh, this YouTube channel or also on the Facebook, which there'll be a link for it. Uh, easiest way to get us on our Facebook is through the facebook.com forward slash surf dream S E R P D R E A M. Uh, we respond really quick to stuff, so just hit us up. Uh, please like and subscribe to the video. Uh, just kind of motivates us to keep making future videos. And uh, comment, let me know what you thought about the snakes, even if you're not interested in buying them. Hope everyone's having a great season, and I'll talk to you guys later.